this speed question involves the constant time concept. Uh, let's let, take a look at the info given. A bakery and a library is 100 meters to 20 meters apart. They are located between Hong and J's house. So um, the bakery is exactly in the middle. So let's draw the distance line between Hong and J's house. So this is J's house. This is Hong's house. The bakery is exactly in the center. So um, one day Hong and Jay started cycling from their houses. So let's say Hong started cycling from here. And Jay started cycling from here. They arrive at the library together. So this is this point is where the library is. Okay. And the speed of Hong at Jaya is 70 meters per minute. Speed of Hong is 70 plus another 15 because it's 15 meters per minute faster than Jaya. So he'll be cycling at 85 meters per minute. Then um, we know that okay, using the constant time concept, it states that the the ratio of uh, the their speed will be the same ratio of the distance traveled since they use the same time. Okay, so constant time concept, we find the speed ratio. is 85 versus 70 which is you divide by 5 you should get 17 to 14 so the speed ratio is the same as the distance ratio between Hong and Jaya so the distance should be also 17 to 14 unit which means that from Hong's house to the library is 17 unit from Jay's house to the library is 14 units that he traveled. Okay. We also know from the question, the first line states that is the library and the bakery is 120 meters apart. Okay, so um which means that this portion between Jay's house and the library is 14 units of distance. And then from so it's from here to here is 14, from here to here is 17. Okay. However, since this is the midpoint, so this this portion here should be half the journey. So half the journey is equal to 14 unit plus 120 meter. This portion will be the other half. So it will also consist of a 14 units of distance and 120 meter. It must be identical to the other half. So knowing that from here to here is 14 units from here to here is 17 units therefore if we take 14 units take away this 14 unit then this portion here should be equals to 3 units so 3 units is 120 times 2, 240 meters. Therefore, 1 unit is 240 divided by 3 equals to 80 meters. And they want to know how far is um, JS house from the library. JS house to the library is 14 units. So let's find 14 units times 80, you should get 1,120 meters. That's the final answer.